Despite the ongoing public rift between Prince William and Prince Harry, relations appear strong between the female royals. During the last Commonwealth Games, held in Birmingham in 2022, the then Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were spotted, along with Princess Charlotte, saying hello and greeting Prince Edward, Sophie Wessex and their children, Lady Louise and James. The two families met with plenty of warm hugs and embraces as they prepared to watch the swimming action in the aquatic center. Yet the physical interaction between Kate and Sophie revealed more than meets the eye when it came to their relationship, according to body language expert Judy James. Their embrace was in fact a sign of the warm bond between the pair, she claimed. Judy told the Mirror. After Diana's death and Fergie's banishment from the firm, Sophie is left as the only royal wife of that generation and her body language here provides some clues that she and Edward might go out of their way to try to breach that emotional gap in the family when it comes to support and open-armed affection for William and Kate and their children. Her greeting here seems to define her as the best auntie, going out of her way to hug and welcome her nephew and his wife as they take their seats to watch the sport. As Kate leans in Sophie throws both arms around her torso, clutching Kate's right arm in her left hand to ensure the hug lasts and patting Kate's back in an add-on ritual or extra bonding and reassurance as the two women cheek kiss. Judy noted how Kate and Sophie used mutual eye contact as they parted in the brief greeting and that these three add-on tie signs register warmth and rapport. However, Kate wasn't the only family member to whom Sophie dished out a warm embrace. Judy said that William also received the same affectionate treatment. William is also pulled in for a cheek kiss and a hug, with Sophie squeezing his elbow in another add-on tie sign. At the end of the family lineup, Edward is equally effusive, smiling as he waits his turn then flinging his arms out in an empty embrace gesture of welcome as he cheek kisses Kate, she said. During the games, Charlotte, then seven years old, was seen pulling a range of facial expressions, even sticking her tongue out at one point, as she enjoyed swimming heats, a hockey match and artistic gymnastics. Tim Lawler, chief executive of SportsAid, called the young princess as charming as he hosted the royal visit to Birmingham University. Although she gazed around at her surrounding and the people on site, she appeared a touch apprehensive at times and was met with a reassuring arm around her shoulder or a word in the ear from her parents every now and then. Charlotte revealed that gymnastics was the sport she liked most, while she got stuck in at a nutritional workshop helping William and Kate place pictures of foods, such as nuts, bread and grapes into the correct protein, carbohydrate, antioxidant or healthy fat groups.